I think so. Um, we, you know, at the moment the league is is very close. Um, you know, you see obviously the the way kind of it's falling and and and, and going into shape. Um, you know, it, it's very tight, very close. Um, anyone can kind of win on on the day. So. Um, you know, we won't take uh, any team for granted, and like you said, they're, they're quite desperate at the moment to to get points. Um, so they'll want to kind of uh, rectify their, their their couple losses that they've had, um, and and I'm sure they'll want to obviously do that on, on Wednesday night. So we definitely got to be aware of it. Yeah, obviously we, we had the day off yesterday, um, and you know we've just come in today, so I'm sure there'll be a bit of bit of talk and a couple of meetings about that. Um, you know, just obviously going off of, of, of you know my feeling and, and having a chat with obviously a few of the boys. Um, you know, I think it was a game of halves. Um, obviously, first half, you know, they were on top of us. Second half, um, I thought we were a lot better, and you know had obviously chances to win the game. I just think um, we probably want to be more consistent throughout the, the 90 minutes, which will help us obviously, um, you know, get get the three points at the end of the day. Yeah, he's um, you know first and foremost is a is a fantastic professional, um, very good footballer, and you know like I said he he you know he, he shows you know shows a glimpse of what he can and bring, and you know not even the goal, he's just his awareness, his passing, you know bringing players into play. Um, so you know for me having someone like that that quality you know playing behind me is um, you know obviously it helps a lot as well, and and, and I like to play as, as good as football as I can and, and link up as, as much as I can so having you know Dozer behind me uh, it makes a massive difference. Yeah obviously they've had a a tough couple seasons now. Um, you know, last season, I think it was the first time they ever made the playoffs. Um, you know, this season they haven't started well at all. Um, you know, they have big expectations. Um, obviously, they are one of the biggest clubs in the in the league. So, um, obviously, trying to get up the top of the table as 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 soon as possible, which is you know easier said than done. Obviously, it's it's. Um, you know, I guess when you continue to to lose, um, you know, probably in, in the manner they've lost, it's hard to kind of get yourself out of that hole. But um, in saying that, they have some still have some very you know good quality players. So that's something any team, and obviously especially us playing them on Wednesday, we have to be aware of because um, you know if we go into the to the game, um, you know, with with not the right attitude or mentality, or you know thinking um, you know uh, it's going to be an easy game, it's definitely not. So um, you know, we obviously have to be very careful, and, and you know, like I said, uh, they want to, you know, work towards you know the, the the top of the table. They always have. They always you know aspire to be um, you know one of the biggest teams in the league. So uh, I guess they want to turn that around as soon as possible. Like I said at the start, I think anyone's title contenders at the moment with the way, you know, you look at Brisbane Raw, um, you know, that, in all fairness to them, they're backing it up, they're playing some fantastic football. Like I said, Mariners, Brisbane, playing some fantastic football. Um, you know, it's what, five, six games now, so uh, they've been consistent. Um, you know, uh, it's still a long way to go, still have 20, 20 or so games games left in the season like I said it's still early doors but um, the way it's going you know it's uh, I think it's it, it's exciting it's fantastic to see clubs like that doing doing really well and and you know what playing some very good football as well